My name is Joan Whitson and I'm with the Early Learning Coalition of North Florida and welcome to class. There's a lot of emphasis implementing class strategies these days into our teaching. As I have been studying class, I've come to find out that you don't have to come up with all sorts of new activities or spend a lot of money. It's just really being more intentional in your teaching. So I looked around and I found lots of things I've been using for years, but this time I put my class lens on to see how I could improve them and dig deeper into ways to improve their learning outcomes. So today I'm going to show you this activity called Rainbow Magic Stew. I have used this activity over the years during circle time to teach concepts like the rainbow, colors, and fruit. This is a song sung to the tune of Kitty Cat Corn, I don't care. And all you need is a bowl some plastic fruit um, or felt pieces um, that you cut into fruit. And then you need um, um, felt strips that are cut into shapes of the rainbow like this. You could also cut these out of foam pieces and put magnets on and use a whiteboard instead of a flannel board. So you put the strips into the bowl beforehand and don't let the kids see them because um, that's where the magic part comes in. And I would start out by just showing all the kids the different pieces of fruit first to make sure that they know what they are. For this activity, we're using the apple, an orange, a lime, a banana, some grapes, and a blueberry. And it goes like this. You take an apple, put it in the pot, stir it, stir it, stir it a lot. Take it out now, what will it be? the prettiest red you ever did see. Oh, what? What happened to my apple? It disappeared. Wow, look what I've got. I've got this beautiful strip of red. Whoa. When you sing that last line, um, whatever piece of fruit you put in, that's the color of rainbow strip you put out. So for example, the next one will be, take an orange and put it in the pot. Stir it, stir it, stir it a lot. Take it out now, what will it be? The prettiest orange you ever did see. Whoa, where did my orange go? This is magic. And I would put it right up there under the red. Then you do the rest with all the same colors um, and the fruit. So for the banana, you're gonna put that in, sing the song. Pull out the yellow strip, then you're going to put in the green and pull the lime and put out the green strip. Then you'll put in the blueberry and pull out a blue strip and the grapes to make your purple strip. Just like that until you have this beautiful, beautiful rainbow. Now in the past, I would have done this and it was always fun and the kids always got a kick out of the magic of the fruit disappearing and a lot of them would say, it's a rainbow, it's a rainbow. They guess what it is. And I might have talked a little bit about what the colors of the rainbow are and, and um, maybe what some of the fruit was, but that would have been about it. But using the class strategies, I see how much more I can improve on this activity. Um, concept development is an area that most teachers score lower on and need to improve. By intentionally looking at the behavior markers needed to improve, I found the following ways to make this activity better. The indicators for concept development are analysis and reasoning, which is ask, getting the kids to think, um, creating integration and connections to the real world. So the first thing I could do to expand is when I'm talking about the fruit. I, you, I could have a list of questions um, ready to go um, about the different fruits. For example, um, ask things like, has anyone ever eaten an apple? Do apples come in other colors? If so, what colors are they? Ask them, where do apples grow? And hopefully someone will say a tree. Then you can ask them, if, has anyone ever been apple picking? And let them describe it to you. And then of course, I would talk about some of my favorite memories when I lived up north and we'd go apple picking every fall and then we'd go home and make apple pie and yummy applesauce. By doing that, I'm making connections to the real world and integrating the lesson into their lives. I can do this with every fruit I hold up. With the orange, I could ask, does anyone know what drink we use with this fruit? Or how do we make orange juice? And then encourage the kids to talk about it. Or with the banana, we could say, well, how do we eat a banana? There's so much discussion that can happen about each of the fruit. About each of the fruit. And then when I'm talking about the rainbow, I would still go over the colors and have the kids, um, of course, name them. Um, but I would ask more questions this time. 
because asking questions, especially open-ended questions, are the key to getting the kids to start using their thinking and reasoning skills. So a couple questions would be, well, what is a rainbow? Does anybody know? Has anyone ever seen one? Where do we see them? Let the kids talk about their experiences seeing a rainbow. I would share how recently I went to the beach after it rained and I saw a double rainbow in the sky. Offer a definition of a rainbow. A rainbow is an arc of color in the sky that can be seen when the sun shines through falling rain. It turns the white light into seven different colors. You could then expand this and add a whole science lesson about rainbows if you wanted or add painting a rainbow into your art center. There would, these would all further integrate this into their learning day. By digging deeper and allowing more discussion, you are increasing your language modeling, which is another class tool. Using advanced language when naming and discussing all the fruits and the facts about the rainbow are another way to increase your, and improve on your class strategies. See how this activity has now gone from good to fantastic? Because I focused on the child's understanding instead of on just rote instruction. I'm gonna continue looking for more activities I've already been using to see how they can be improved. I hope you will take up this challenge as well. Try this rainbow magic stew activity too. Bye, class is over.